If you're a prisoner or a slave, there are real limits to your agency. Your fate is being decided by somebody else. Gaza has been described even by the conservative British Prime Minister David Cameron. He said it's an open-air prison. And in fact, most of the time, these were called wars. They have very little to do with Gaza. Since 1967, uh, Gaza has been occupied by Israel along with the West Bank. Fast forwarding to 2005, Israel uh, disengages from Gaza, uh, pulls out its soldiers and its settlers there. Uh, Israel didn't withdraw from Gaza, and with all due respect to you, it didn't disengage from Gaza. It redeployed. What it did was it removed its troops from the heart of Gaza, along with a relatively small number of settlers, about 6,000. And then it redeployed on the periphery of Gaza. Imagine you have guards in the prison, and then the guards in the prison, they take the keys, throw it to the prisoners. The prisoners get out of the cell. But then the guards, they leave the prison, slam shut the prison gates, and then they redeploy uh, outside the prison.